Hey guys, Rex here and welcome back to the Shulk career mod here on FIFA 16. If we move over to the calendar now, we can see we are very close to reaching the January transfer window. We just have these three matches that I'm going to cover in this episode, starting with the match at home against Wolfsburg, the cup match against Eintracht Frankfurt, and then of course our derby against Dortmund. Uh, three pretty important matches hopefully we can win all three and then we can advance and in the next episode we will start the january transfer window where we will likely have to bring in a replacement for huntelaar because of course huntelaar wanted to leave but if we actually look at the top scorer list yeah he's been on great form lately and it's gonna really hurt losing him but that's just how it is he wants to leave his contract is running out we are pretty much we pretty much have no choice but to let him go but for now, let's advance and get through these three games. And then uh, next episode, we'll take a look at who we're going to sign. One good bit of news, though, is that Chupa Moting is back from his injury. So we can have him play matches again very soon. And my first team is fit. I see no reason to make any changes. Let's get into this match. Kante does well to steal that ball there. Let's give this through for Sané now. Sané gets there. Let's cut inside. He comes inside and... The ball is saved off the line and a distant shot from Mario Fernandez. Of course not gonna work. Didn't mean to do that. Wolfsburg now dangerous, building up to an attack. They feed it through here in the box. We can block it. Feed it through and oh that's an unlucky deflection. But Draxler scores the goal against us, against his old team, but he does not care about celebrating. A shot there it would have probably been saved by summer but that deflection of mario fernandez just barely changed the direction and uh, surprised summer Volland wins the ball back there feeds that in for hesse hesse now comes inside he's true but saved by the keeper and in the rebound oh it's almost an own goal oh wolfsburg really escaped there but this is how close they were to an own goal. That is ridiculously lucky. Ah, uh, shame we didn't get a goal there. Not a great first half, to be honest. We had one or two chances, but we conceded a goal as well. And that's not what you want to do. I wanted to go and win this game, and we're currently not doing that. Hector now. Oh, he's passed there. That's well done. Let's pass this inside for Hesse who again can't finish and the ball actually bounces off his leg and it's gonna, not even going to be a corner. Sané now out to Meyer. Meyer feeds this in for Geis. Geis finds Volland. Shot is saved. Oh, that's a good save. Wolfsburg coming on an attack, crossing this in and the header just goes over the bar. Goretzka now. Pass is true. Huntelaar has it. Huntelaar feed it through for Sané. He reaches Sané. Sané back in for Huntelaar. Huntelaar. Another save. We're just not getting through Wolfsburg. We get so many chances and that shot was too weak. I don't know why this keeper even struggled with that. Gets the ball back. Shoots. And another save by the keeper. This keeper is saving literally everything. It's ridiculous. Bundesliga keepers are too OP. Ah oh, no, that's a bad interception from Hector and the ball is fed through but good block there but yeah it's too late. A 1-0 loss. We didn't deserve to lose this match. We really didn't. Wolfsburg barely did anything all match. They got a lucky deflection goal and we failed to score from so many chances. That is just a frustrating loss. Let's see what the league table looks like right now. Well, we are still top at least. Two points above Bayern. But we can't afford to drop any more points. We we just can't do it. Because Bayern is going to win a lot of games. And they're not going to drop a lot of points. So we can't allow ourselves to either. Alright, up next we have the cup match away against Frankfurt. I'm going to play with a second team here. Goretzka is actually going to play as my right winger because I haven't really been happy with Clemens at all. Labiat is going to play on the left because Chupamoting still hasn't healed entirely and Ayub comes in in the middle. Ake now into Navis. Navis back out wide for Ake. Ake tries to 
feed this inside. He it works in for Ayub. Ayub. Oh, well off the mark. Tricky angle, but he almost still managed to get that in. A ball through now for Frankfurt, but they shoot from way too far away. Danger now from Frankfurt. The shot saved by Dragowski. What? No. Are you kidding me? Is he gonna? I didn't even have control over him, and he just got a yellow card and a red card because of it. His first one was light too. Like this ref has given me three super light yellow cards and now he's giving me a fourth one that is a red. I wasn't even controlling my player. I was not even controlling Ihan there when he made that tackle. This is ridiculous. Well, I'm gonna have to take uh, my Goretzka off from the right ring. I'll put him in the center. Ayub comes off so I can put Friedrich on. And I'm going to swap, swap Navis for guys. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to see if we can play like this. And maybe snatch a 1-0 win still. Huntelaar now. Huntelaar. Feeds this through. This is the chance. It's the post. The outside of the post. Well, Honda, who could have had the decider there. Fails. And now Frankfurt on an attack. But we can intercept and that's the end of 90 minutes. We're gonna go into extra time. A man down. But damn Belhanda. So close. Okay I actually think my game is glitched. Because I definitely saw Neves on the pitch. But he should not be on the pitch. Guy should be on the pitch. And I have the feeling that Goretzka is still standing at right mid. So this is definitely very weird. I'm gonna see if I can make a formation change now though. Okay, gonna try to do something risky, but I'm also gonna take Labiatov. Folland is gonna play as a right striker, Huntlar is a left striker essentially. Let's hope we can get a goal in these last 15 minutes. And also let's hope that my substitutions actually take place. Okay, now they are doing the substitutions. I already made these substitutions long ago, but for some reason the game just never applied them. Thanks, game. Huntelaar. Huntelaar has the ball. He does that well. Let's feed this through. Goretzka. Goretzka, can he decide it? Yes, he does. Huntelaar with the assist to Goretzka. And we get the goal in the 110th minute of the game. Being down to 10 men. Huntlar with some great strength. Goretzka with a good run. And he finishes it. Keeper can't stop it. Now we just have to hold on for 10 more minutes. Oh, Volant. He steals the ball there. Volant, let's lay this off. Huntlar, 2-0. Oh. This is actually match over. We went down to 10 men. It took all the way to extra time. But they just waste the ball there. Volant easily picks it off. Lays it off for Huntlar who... He puts it in the net. And 2 0. Ball through now for Huntelaar. 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 Oh, almost makes another there. We're getting all the chances suddenly. This formation change seemed to really work. Maybe I should try playing with two up front some more. Last minute of the match. We're going to take this free kick with Volant. It's going to go over, but it doesn't matter anymore. We get a 2 0 win, and we do go through, despite an, in my opinion, undeserved red card to Ihan. But yeah, we got through, and we did it. I'm just going to put this game behind me now and move on to probably the biggest match this episode or derby against Dortmund. So we do get an email. We are at risk of losing two players because. Uh, Okay, both Hendler and Clemens, of course, their contracts are running out. Velleroyter as well. You know what? I, I don't mind. He is a talented goalkeeper. He could be a future first team player. He can uh, have a new contract for only 5k extra. Clemens, I'm just not happy with. I'm going to let his uh, contract expire. Hendler, I don't think he will sign it because he has been saying how he wants to leave. But, you know, maybe he'll stay if we offer him a new deal. So Cruz is a first team player for one more extra year. Let's see if he signs that. And now it's time for the Rivier Derby against Dortmund. My first team is still fit because I of course used my second team for that cup match. And I'm going to need them fit because Dortmund has always given me trouble. I don't think I've beaten them yet in this career mode. So let's make that first time now. Hesse does well to win that back. Lays it off for Kante with a distance shot. It's saved but Sané in the rebound. We're 1-0 up. Oh that was good, good pressure there. 
by Hesse to win that ball. He sees Kane with a lot of space who takes his shot quickly and the rebound falls perfectly for Sané who's putting that away. And I mean Kante, not Kane. I just realized I said that wrong. Umtiti does well. Gives it true now for Sané. Sané, let's go back a bit. And he's tackled in the box. That's going to be a penalty. Oh, and if that is another foul by Durham, then he might be off. He's already on a yellow. Yeah, that's his second yellow. Durham is off. Dortmund down to 10 men, and we have the opportunity to go 2-0 up. Yeah, going in like that, he gets nothing of the ball, just on his legs. Easy yellow card, easy penalty, and this is our biggest chance to win a game against Dortmund yet. I'm going to have full on to take this and we're going to go to the bottom right. No! Why do I miss so many penalties lately? I don't know what it is, but I'm missing way too many. Sané picks up here though. Let's lay this off and get a goal. No, it hits the bar. Burki. Oh, Burki. He, he just pulled off two amazing saves here. First the penalty, then this. Sané does well to steal that ball. He keeps going, falls for Hesse, Hesse, oh he hits the bar once again. Now Hesse, they have only one player back. Let's feed this through for Volant. Volant, Volant, let's pass it off and Sané score the second. I know it was incredibly sweaty to just lay it off but Dortmund is so scary. Like even if I have 1-0 up and you know they have a man less, I wanted that second goal. I needed that security, so I was gonna go for the surefire goal, and Sané gives me that. And that's the match. We win against Dortmund. We won a derby, finally. Oh, it took until our second season, but we did it now. And man, what, what a match it was. I don't think I gave Dortmund any good chances at all this match. It certainly helped that they were down to 10 men because of Durham's red card, but he got a deserved red card and we played very well the entire match. We could have scored more goals, but we were a little unlucky in our finishing too. But huh, I'm happy to get the three points here, especially against our rivals. And both Wellenreuter and Hintler have ex actually accepted their contracts. So maybe we can just keep Hintler next time. I, I don't know. We'll actually, I'm going to see if I can take him off my transfer list now. Yeah, he is off my transfer list now. I put him on there, so signing a new contract actually solved that. I think we're just going to keep Huntelaar. I mean, he is 33, he is old, but for now he is still a very solid player as he has shown. So I'm not in no rush to have him leave. Maurice Daube wants a contract. Let's go over to the Youth Academy. He is looking like he can be quite a good uh, left back in the future, so I'll offer him a contract. Uh, four years, future first team player. But here we are, it is now the transfer window that has opened and if we go to our emails we have of course a new youth, skate, youth scout update but also Bergwijn's loan has ended because we of course loaned him in in the transfer, January transfer window last season so we may have to look for an extra winger as well um, but first let's take a look at this scouting update. You look like you could be good but we'll scout you for one more month and uh, we'll say no to you. We'll scout you a bit further. Oh Maximilian Stolze you look pretty good. We'll sign you up. Uh, you definitely won't be good enough. Neither will you and neither will you and these two will scout a bit further. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a squad report now to finish off this episode. Uh, of course, Summer, he hasn't grown at all, but that's okay. He's a solid keeper at, for now anyway. Mario Fernandez has gone up by two. Hodes hasn't grown at all. Umtiti has grown slightly in his aggression, but not in an overall yet, unfortunately. I would hope he would grow a little. Uh, Hector still hasn't grown, but that's okay. He's really solid and feels like an 80 rated player anyway. Guys has gone up by one. And Colo Kante has stayed the same. Meyer has gone up by one. Sane hasn't really gone up too much yet. Volant has gone up slightly too. Hesse has gone up by two. That's good to see. Labiat hasn't grown at all. Belhanda is growing slightly. Clemens has gone up by one. Even though none of his stats have increased. That's uh, interesting. Uh, Navis has gone up by two. Manir has go grown slightly. But not enough for his overall yet. Uh, Dragovic has gone up by one. Huntler is starting to go down in his mental stats, unfortunately. Uh, and Deng has grown by three. 
Tribal has grown by three. Blood has grown by two. Valorator hasn't grown at all. Friedrich has gone up by two. Atvijay has gone up by three. Dragowski has gone up by three. Goretzka is growing slightly in his mental stats, but nothing overall yet. Ake has gone up by two. Ion has gone up by three. Ayup has gone up by one. Moting hasn't grown at all, but he hasn't gone down, even though he was injured for quite a long time, so that's good at least. And doing a little bit of training now, Dragowski actually reached 81 overall. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, next time around, we're gonna take care of the January transfer window, but for now, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want more, then subscribe to my channel down below, and while you are on there, maybe leave a thumbs up on this video, and I will see you all next time.